welcome to Thursday, Vlogtober. Um, I am. Huh? I'm here. You don't know where she's at? I'm currently trying to find my children because I need to get some schoolwork done with them and Mommy, oh just yeah. got the baby down. They're down in Baba Eden. Baba Hook. What? They're down a walk. They went on a walk? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, um, so I yeah, we're gonna try to get some work done. I think I'm gonna pour myself a second cup of coffee. Um, they should have already done their independent work. One second. And uh, of course, I need to get some chores done as well. Now that the baby's asleep, we're gonna try to cram all the, all the things in. And I have another one that will stop interrupting. Okay, can you tell her to come here, please? Okay. Um, you know, constantly teaching manners. But anyways, um, I'm gonna make another cup of coffee. Last night I painted my fingernails again. Uh, I picked up this color at Harris Teeter, and this one is called Berlin. Oh, Berlin, there done that. Berlin there done that. So I'm gonna, I do have a couple of chips. I didn't put a top coat, so I need to like kind of fix that a little bit, but I'm gonna, so I brought that out. I'm gonna do that later. Um, again, I have quite a bit of like cleaning, purging, tidying that I wanna do, especially in preparation for our little walk through next week. Um, so I need to do that. Um, I kind of did a little bit of that this morning. So I just felt like this countertop was so cluttered. There was the ice maker, but we aren't currently using that right now. We're using the ice maker from the fridge. So I cleaned that out really well. It smelled kind of like, you know, like the mildewy, like old water. So I got it really nice and clean and I'm uh, washing the ice basket and the dishwasher, but I just stored that away for now so that there's not so much sitting on the countertop. So. That's one of my goals today is to kind of make sure the countertops get nice and decluttered. This is the catch-all here that everything seems to end up on, so I need to deal with that. Um, and then I'm gonna also declutter the bookshelves in the living room and get those nice and cleaned off. So those are my goals, um, along with homeschool and the garage, huh? Mason, yeah, I know, I see him. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do what I can, right? Um, so I'm in total like jeans and t-shirt mood again. I, this is like day three, I think of jeans and t-shirts. So I'm kind of, kind of feeling it. That's, I actually had a dress on earlier and I changed it because I was just, I'm moody guys with my clothes. Like I'm moody. I have to be in the right mood for what I'm wearing. So I'm just not in the mood for dresses today. So I'm wearing jeans and I'm going to have my coffee with some pumpkin pie spice creamer and get some more schoolwork done with these kids. Get our group subjects done. We have history to do today um, and memory work and then Mason's uh, essentials work I need to go do with him. Did you do anything yet? Did you do anything yet? You did, good job. So he got all of his independent work done, which is handwriting, typing, um, Bible devotion, and math. And he did, he got a 95 on his math today, so that's good. Got my coffee. And now I've got to find Maddie so we can get her work done. Oh yeah, Mason is super excited because, do you wanna tell us? You don't wanna tell us. There's storms rolling in. Storms are rolling in. Tornadic Mason, activity. Tornadic activity. Mason is uh, on the lookout for the weather today. What guys? What? This that hurts. Hmm? It hurts. This hurts? Yeah. Hurts your teeth? Oh yeah, don't have those. Those are a little too hard. All right, hop down. Don't be on the counter. So anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and have a few more sips of my coffee and get these kids rounded up for group subjects and then try to get some work done. All right, you guys. I like very, very quickly decided to run to the store because I want to make 
get dinner in the Instant Pot. Um, I'm all about trying to get dinner done early today so I can focus on other things. And um, the recipe calls for some celery and carrots and I just do not have Hi, well, Maddie. any of that. Hi, Solomon, did you not want to wear your shoes? No, it hurts. Hurt your feet? Yeah. I need dots. <laughs> yeah. No coffee. Nope. Nope. Here's the navy beans. Just got those rinsed. Just got home from the store. I ended up picking up several things at the store. If I can show you guys real quick. I got um, some foldable flour tortillas. I thought about doing some fajitas because I have some peppers that I need to use up. I got some more tomatoes. Here's the celery. I got some Granny Smith apples. I also have a couple of pie crusts that I need to use up. So I wanted to go ahead and maybe make an apple pie. Um, some more straws. Got some carrots. Some cilantro. This ended up making it into our grocery cart. Um, two avocado Mexican rice. I picked up another one of these because I have one, but I needed another one. We have uh, this kit that has like the bowls. Fajita seasoning mix. Um, I got some ham. This is a ham concentrate. I thought I might throw in the soup today. Some tikka masala simmer sauce. I'm going to use with some chicken. Some basmati rice. I got this. This is my favorite cornbread mix. So we're going to use this tonight. I got some lemon pepper seasoning. Um, some icing some red pepper. I'm going to put that on my avocado toast here in a minute. Got some extra virgin olive oil. I got a couple of muffin mixes for breakfast and some brownie mix, some mac and cheese for the kids, and some salsa, some mild salsa. And I think that's about it. Oh, and no, I already had the onion. So yeah, that's what I picked up and I am getting ready. Oh, I got some ground beef as well. It's already in the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead. I got this onion chopped. I'm going to saute some onion, some garlic, some of the carrots and celery. And then we're going to be adding some chicken broth and the beans and some seasonings and pressure cooking. Good job. <laughs> all right, so I had all of the um, vegetables sauteing in some extra virgin olive oil, um, added some paprika, some thyme, some garlic, about two teaspoons, some salt, pepper, and then two cartons of chicken broth. We're gonna set this to seal and pressure cook this for about 34 minutes. And then when it's finished, we will add some canned diced tomatoes and then this ham that I'm gonna chop up and then we'll cook it on pressure for a little longer. Um, let's see, I need to set that to, I think that's seal. Venting, yeah, seal. All right, we're gonna pressure cook for 34. All righty, time to chop the ham. <laughs> All right, so I've got our dinner in the Instant Pot. Hallelujah, it's only 2.30. And that makes me feel very, very good. And I am getting ready to slice up a tomato. And I've got some toast going. The kids are having leftover lasagna and I'm gonna have some tomato avocado toast for lunch with some red pepper. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna eat my lunch, clean the kitchen up, fold a load of laundry, and 
yeah, I think we may end up finishing our read aloud book after that. And then probably the baby will wake up and he'll need some lunch, so that'll be what's next on the agenda. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. All right, I got my Illumicrate box in the mail today, so I figured I might open it with you guys. This is like one of my most anticipated things every month. I love it so much. This one is themed Revenge is Sweeter. Um, let's see. Let's start with, oh my gosh, I love this. Measuring cups. Look at these measuring cups. Aren't those adorable? They have this little, this looks like Caraval. I think this might be based on Caraval. Yes, inspired by Caraval. Awesome. I love those so much. <clears throat> All right, this is a mug. However, oh yeah, very cute. This like whimsical mug here. Very cute. Yes, I like that. Okay, we have another candle. That one is so good. Smells like, wait, what is this? Honey and cinnamon. Wow, that's an interesting smell that I've never had in a candle, but it's so good. That's really awesome. I'm gonna have to burn that one later. Yeah, Sammy up. Hey, Sammy. Say hi. Did you wake up from your nappy? Oh, your nose is running. Yes. Uh oh, oh, oh. You've got a runny nose. I need a tissue, guys. I need a tissue. It's all right. I'm going to change this clothes. All right. Let's see what else we have in this box. Um, they always send a pin. I decorate my bag with these. Yeah. And this one is. Let's see. It's designed I, I to look really like. Do. A pilot's pen for the uh, vermilion bird, which I don't know what that is, so I'll have to look it up. I have bird. <laughs> very, it? very cute. Oh, that's cute. Put that on my bag. All right, let's see what this is. This looks like, ooh, it's a, looks like a tote. A bag? Hang on. Um, this is a book organizer? How is that book organizer? No, what is this? Um, it's just like a little bag bag, which is actually really cute, but I'm not sure exactly what it says. I am made of memories. Madeline Miller. Madeline. My name yep. is Madeline. It's spelled the same way too. Right. So that's very cute. Hang on. Okay. And then the featured book. Oh, there's always an art print. So this is our art and this is based on what's the art? Oh, which, uh, which is based on which is steeped in gold uh, book. So there's that. And then let's see what the book is for this month. Who painted this? Some an artist. I don't know. Wow. That's um, Iron Widow. So look at these. Look how cool that is. So this is the book in the Illumicrate box this month, Iron Widow. And usually. It comes signed. This one has a signed Hi. card. And typically these books have amazing dust jackets. Oh, look at the book itself. It's so the it pen. Has... It's the pen. Oh, is it? Where's the pen? So it's got this gold embossing, maybe. And then the dust jacket has this amazing art. <laughs> So, that is so fun. I love it. The face is the same. Cool. All right. I think little man needs to eat. So, um, I love getting these because they're really good for like book collectors because the books are signed and um, yeah, I just, I love to collect books 
And so the problem is finding time to read them all right now. I need to make that more of a priority. I was really reading a lot, but since I started doing Vlogtober, I haven't really been able to read that much because I'm editing during the hours that I would typically be reading. So I'm gonna have to try and tweak that a little bit so that I can get more books read because it's truly something that I love and enjoy. But this was another fantastic box. I love Illumicrate. Their boxes are amazing. And now I am going to go feed my little toddler. I'll feed him. You'll feed him? Yep. We have robot cards. Awesome. So Jimmy came home and um, he brought a bit of a surprise Tonight. that I was not expecting. And I have phone. <laughs> he brought Mason and Maddie new phones. <laughs> so he says they're always like grabbing our phones. And so um, we don't, we have the AT&T Secure Family uh, subscription. I pay for that every month and it is a parental control on their phones. So, um, he brought those home for them and they think he is the best dad in the whole wide world. But anyway, um, Mason and Maddie are gone with Jimmy. Jimmy is so kind to take Maddie to gymnastics and let me stay here with the little ones. It's just uh, a lot easier that way. And so I am going to finish dinner. Oh, it's loud. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna finish dinner and I am going to use this time with just the little ones hopefully to kind of do a few things that I didn't have time to do earlier. So um, it's funny, today it's felt very just like the day is sort of moving quickly and I'm not getting everything done. Then I feel like I've been in the kitchen a lot, which is probably true, but I kind of feel that way every day. I feel like I stay in the kitchen most days, um, especially because the baby eats usually at different times than the rest of us. So I'm going to bring the vacuum cleaner down. The living room is, eh, it's, you know, it needs to be finished up a little bit. Kitchen needs to be finished up a little bit. Um, I still need to, the first cook is finished on the Instant Pot. I'm going to add in the diced tomatoes and the ham and do like a second um, cook with those ingredients. So I'm gonna add just like a 14 and a half ounce can of tomatoes. And I went ahead and diced up the ham to save myself some time. Thank goodness I did that. So here's my ham. I'm gonna just toss that into the pot, make the um, cornbread and we will be good to go. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I was just checking, it's gonna go in for another high pressure cook for seven minutes. And then you do the quick release. You guys can't even see me, sorry. You do the quick, uh, quick release after the seven minutes. So um, probably to avoid any kind of mushy, mushy beans or veggies. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these in. All right, there it is. Look at all that yummy, yummy yumminess. All right, let's cook it a little bit longer. I legit went into the bedroom to change the baby and collapsed on the bed. I didn't sleep, but I laid there for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Maybe not even. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm tired. I need to like spruce my hair up a little bit. But yeah, Samuel, because he just got up not too long ago. I'm absolutely not gonna be able to nap, but now it's time to release the pressure. Wow. That is super hot. All right, I just did a double batch of the Krusty's Honey Cornbread, and I put it in my cast iron pan, and I'm getting ready to bake that. And y'all, dinner is done. It is, what time is it? I don't know, four o'clock. So, hallelujah for that. That means I can finally get out of the kitchen at least for a little while until it's time for dishes, which I may assign to someone else tonight. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna load these last few dishes into the dishwasher, put this cornbread in the oven, and then I'm going to finally make it 
hopefully, into the living room to do the clean out of the bookshelves. I really feel like I want them to be much more just empty. Um, it's also annoying because the baby's at that stage where he's pulling everything off. So the, the less there is up there, the better. So that is my goal. And hopefully I can have that done within like 30 minutes. That's, that's optimal. Hi guys, I've been super busy. Um, and not vlogging, but I did some work in the garage. I thought I would share with you guys what I did real quick and did some purging, did some organizing, got the kids in bed, got the kitchen cleaned up. Um, so I came out by myself and hung this organizer here in the garage. Um, we picked this up from Lowe's. It's, I forget what it's called, not Lowe's, Home Depot. It's called Rubbermaid Fast Track. So you just buy the track and then you can add the little hooks that go on it. And I, I, I actually, I might end up moving it <laughs> because come to find out, I think I'm going to be, I forgot that I ordered another one of these shelves and I'll probably need to put it there. And, but we also hung the bike rack there, same system. Um, and that gives us a little more space here in the garage. And then these are gonna be going away, and then whatever's on those will be moved over to the other red shelf when we get that. So the plan is to have this whole back left corner available to turn into a workout area. Yeah, and um, I'm gonna have like my gymnastics bars probably like right here. Right there. So we're gonna probably get some of the rubber matting. Um, Jimmy is, um, this week he's bringing home a massive weightlifting system that he has purchased and so um, we have to get all of that cleared out and ready for that system so the boys meaning gavin and jacob and jimmy are really into like lifting weights and everything and so and i'm really into gymnastics yeah so um, into it into a gymnastics workout yep so um they got a gym membership and it was always so crowded every time they would go that they couldn't lift weights so um i have black under my eyes you guys um so anyways they decided to just create something here that would work much better so that's what we're working on and that's kind of what i was working on um this shelf right here is very annoying because it's not big enough for bins. Those are wide enough for the bins. So I may end up getting rid of this shelf altogether and then putting the red one here. And I think it would work a lot better. And then the shoes that are there, I'll just get another one of these wire shoe racks and just put right there for the shoes. Um, and then this was the thing, I don't know if you guys saw that we got at Home Depot yesterday and i decided to use it for balls and helmets and then i may even put shoes down there at the bottom so that is working out pretty well and then we have the little hooks for the book bags and so there's still a good bit of organizing that i could do but so far um we've made a lot of progress actually so yay 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 um there's just a lot of ride on toys and like the wagon and other things that you know what are you gonna do it takes up a lot of space but i worked on that for a while um what else did i do let me think oh let me show you the living room the toilet paper looks real good on the shelf <laughs> so i worked on cleaning off the shelves and I got all of it kind of decluttered and I ended up getting rid of a lot of the toys and I just have one for their blocks, one for the magnet tiles and then I have like the little um, trains and like the baby toys there and that's about all I want as far as toys in the living room. Um, and then over here, those are going upstairs to the bookshelves upstairs. And then I just reorganized here, cleaned off up here, and I feel like it looks so much better. Um, still have a couple things to work on, but, and like kind of wipe down. 
And I, when we moved, I lost the hardware to hang this soundbar, so I probably could order something like that off of Amazon so that I could hang it under the TV. But that is where we're at. I just want everything to be nice and clean, especially since we're probably going to be doing some Christmas decorating here pretty soon. Yay, yay, yay. Christmas, Christmas. It's, it's Halloween. Right after Halloween, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. And we have like a lot of days until Halloween. <laughs> until <laughs> Christmas. Christmas well, I decorate early. I always have. And usually by Gavin's birthday, I have my Christmas decorations up. You got a week and a half. Like every year, right? Wait, no. Yeah, a week and Pretty much every year by your birthday, I have the Christmas. Let's go. Going up. Last year, I had COVID. At the first week of November, I had COVID, and I was pulling Christmas decorations out. Mm -hmm. And I was pouring the sweat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is... Oh, t so tomorrow, my goal is to purge and organize this trashed closet this closet here look at this my kids live in this closet it's all of their coloring books toys and games and uh, like the homeschool art supplies so that needs to be purged and organized and then i'm going to be going through all of the drawers and everything and doing a good clean out and purge as well as that bookshelf there so um yeah, there's a lot that I think could do. I would actually like to get rid of this bookshelf in here because I just feel like it's an eyesore, but I just don't know if I would have the space to store that stuff anywhere else. And I was kind of thinking about, I probably have curriculum that I could get rid of, but y'all, I am, if I hoard anything, it's definitely homeschool curriculum because you guys know how expensive that stuff is. And with me having kids, um, you know, coming up in age, I may have a year where I need to use that curriculum. So anyway, I'm going to probably in the vlog here, I'm going to go do some editing and some reading and relaxation because I have been going all day and I'm tired. It's been a long day, but it's been a productive day. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for being here. And if you're new here, please subscribe if you'd like to. Leave a comment and a thumbs up. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.